boy, there sure is a lot of stuff to memorize in this cell for biology class. But I wonder who that sad little blob of stuff is in the nucleus. I'm just a gene. Yes, I'm only a gene. And I'm sitting here till your body needs me. Well, it's a long, long journey to go through replication. It's a long, long process through transcription and translation. But I know I'll make a protein someday. At least I hope that I do what I mean. But today I am still. Gee, Jean, you certainly have a lot of patience and courage. Well, i still got a long way to go. Right now, I'm just a code for a protein. Some of your cells might decide they need me to do something for them, so they'll say, Hey, Jean, there ought to be a protein. Then I would unwind from this double helix here and go through replication with the help of all my enzyme friends. First helicase comes along and unzips me. Unzips you? Yes. He unzips my DNA double helix so I have nucleotides free to be copied. Why do they have to be copied? My protein is a special code of three nucleotide segments called codons that DNA polymerase reads and attaches free nucleotides to. But how do they attach? It's simple, really. Big adenine and small thymine fit together, and big guanine and small cytosine fit together. So whichever one I show, my friend DNA polymerase 3 knows to attach its complement. This is called transcription. But then, the code isn't a match. It's just another code. Is that the mRNA I hear so much about? That's right. I'm just a gene. Yes, I'm only a gene. And I'm sitting here till your body needs me. Well, it's a long, long journey to go through replication. It's a long, long process through transcription and translation. But I know I'll make a protein. So, which of your two strands gets copied? Both! DNA is copied from 3' to 5'. What's that? Well, it has to do with which one of my molecular carbons attaches to the next one. My code is read from 3' to 5', and the mRNA is made from 5' to 3'. But why, Gene? They're opposite, because the nucleotides attach upside down, so the sugar on the new nucleotide is running in the opposite direction. What about the other strand? It's already opposite. It would run into the replication fork if it was made that way. Good question. A guy named Okazaki found out that the other strand of DNA is made with little pieces that can be hooked together. He called them Okazaki fragments. Primase puts primers in short segments that run away from the direction of the replication fork. These segments are short enough that DNA polymerase 3 has enough time to fill in the fragments. The code is continuous, right? Only once DNA polymerase 1 comes along and replaces the RNA pieces with DNA, and DNA ligase attaches the fragments to one another. Then you have the mRNA. Not quite. Then you have pre-mRNA, which has to be processed. The parts that don't code for proteins, called introns, are removed. So then you have mRNA. Yep. Then the mRNA takes my information into the cytoplasm. I'm just a gene. Yes, I'm only a gene. And I'm sitting here till your body needs me. Well, it's a long, long journey to go through replication. It's a long, long process through transcription and translation. But I know I'll make a protein someday. At least I hope that I do what I mean. But today I am still just a gene. So what is the cell supposed to do with another code? Well, the mRNA code is made to protect me because I shouldn't be out in the dangerous cytoplasm. I might get hurt. That's why my mRNA goes out and a large and small ribosome subunit comes along and attaches around those codons. I know about ribosomes. They're the things that make the protein. But how? Believe it or not, the ribosomes read the code again. Another messenger, the transfer RNA, gets the pieces to turn it into a long string of amino acids, which is another code. Oh, no. Oh, yes. I'm just a gene. Yes, I'm only a gene. And I'm sitting here till your body needs me. Well, it's a long, long journey to go through replication.
transition. It's a long, long process through transcription and translation, but I know I'll make a protein someday. At least I hope that I do what I mean. But today I am still just a gene. segments called codons? Yeah. Well, each of those is the code for an amino acid. Turning that mRNA code into something useful is a process called translation. There are 20 of these amino acids. Wait a second. Three spots and four nucleotides possible for each means there are 64 combinations, not 20. You're smart. Some combinations code for the same amino acid, and some others are what we call start and stop codons. They told the primase where to attach that RNA primer so DNA polymerase 3 knows where to start and stop. Then those segments are, what are turned into this chain of amino acids called a polypeptide. But humans have over 20,000 traits. What else goes into the amino acid sequence? Nothing. You see, those 20 amino acids, they have all sorts of different combinations, and every protein has a different combination. Each has a specific sequence and length of amino acids all folded up into a protein. Wow, Gene. It's not easy to become a protein, is it? No. At least I hope that I do what I mean. But today I am still just a gene. Your body needs you, Gene. Now you can make a protein. Oh, yes.